Our channel is home to some of the highest quality crypto content online coins, tokens news reviews, and other crypto-related topics that cross my mind. If this is what you're here for, subscribe to the channel and ping that notification bell to make sure you get more. If time is not on your side, you can use the timestamps below to skip ahead at any interesting topics you find. Just remember that the longer you stick around, the more this video will get found. So now that you understand my position, let's unpack a complete guide to cryptocurrency trading for beginners. A complete guide to cryptocurrency trading for beginners in 2022. Chapter 1. What is trading? What is investing? Trading versus investing. What's the difference? What is fundamental analysis, FA? What is technical analysis, TA? Fundamental analysis versus technical analysis, which is better? What drives the financial markets? What is a market trend? What is a market cycle? Trading. Trading is a fundamental economic concept that involves buying and selling assets. These can be goods and services, where the buyer pays the compensation to the seller. In other cases, the transaction can involve the exchange of goods and services between the trading parties. In the context of the financial markets, the assets being traded are called financial instruments. These can be stocks, bonds, currency pairs on the forex market, options, futures, margin products, cryptocurrency, and many others. The term trading is commonly used to refer to short-term trading, where traders actively enter and exit positions over relatively short time frames such as day trading, swing trading, trend trading, and many others. But don't worry. We'll go through each of them in more detail later. Investing. Investing is allocating resources, such as capital, with the expectation of generating a profit. This can include using money to fund and kickstart a business or buying land with the goal of reselling it later at a higher price. In the financial markets, this typically involves investing in financial instruments with the hopes of selling them later at a higher price. The expectation of a return is core to the concept of investment, this is also known as ROI. As opposed to trading, investing typically takes a longer-term approach to wealth accrual. As opposed to trading, investing typically takes a longer-term approach to wealth accrual. The goal of an investor is to build wealth over a long period of time, years, or even decades. There are plenty of ways to do that, but investors will typically use fundamental factors to find potentially good investment opportunities. Due to the long-term nature of their approach, investors usually don't concern themselves with short-term price fluctuations. As such, they will typically stay relatively passive, without worrying too much about short-term losses. Trading versus investing, what's the difference? Both traders and investors seek to generate profits in the financial markets. Their methods to achieve this goal, however, are quite different. Generally, investors seek to generate a return over a longer period of time, think years or even decades. Since investors have a larger time horizon, their targeted returns for each investment tend to be larger as well. Dot. Traders, on the other hand, try to take advantage of the market volatility. They enter and exit positions more frequently, and may seek smaller returns with each trade, since they're often entering multiple trades. Which one is better? Which one is more suitable for you? That's for you to decide. You can start educating yourself about the markets, and then learn by doing. Over time, you'll be able to determine which one suits better your financial goals, personality, and trading profile. What is fundamental analysis, FA? Fundamental analysis is a method for assessing a financial assets valuation. A fundamental analyst studies both economic and financial factors to determine if the value of an asset is fair. Once the fundamental analysis is complete, analysts aim to determine whether the asset is undervalued or overvalued. Investors can use this conclusion when making their investment decisions. In the case of cryptocurrencies, fundamental analysis may also include an emerging field of data science that concerns itself with public blockchain data called on-chain metrics. These metrics can include the network hash rate, the top holders, the number of addresses, analysis of transactions, and many more. What's more, much of the market is driven by speculation and narratives. As such, fundamental factors will typically have negligible effects on the price of a cryptocurrency. However, more accurate ways to think about crypto asset valuation may be developed once the market matures. What is technical analysis, TA? 
Technical analysts work with a different approach. The core idea behind technical analysis is that historical price action may indicate how the market is likely to behave in the future. This can include analysis of price action and volume, chart patterns, the use of technical indicators, and many other charting tools. The goal of this analysis is to evaluate a given market's strength or weakness. With that said, technical analysis isn't only a tool for predicting the probabilities of future price movements. It can also be a useful framework for risk management. Since technical analysis provides a model for analyzing market structure, it makes managing trades more defined and measurable. Fundamental analysis versus technical analysis, which is better? That entirely depends on your trading strategy. Actually, why not use both? Most market analysis methods work best when they're combined with other methods or indicators. This concept is sometimes referred to as confluence. Confluence traders combine multiple strategies into one that harnesses benefits from all of them. The idea is that the trading opportunities presented by the combined strategies may be stronger than the ones provided by only one strategy. What drives the financial markets? The price of an asset is simply determined by the balance of supply and demand. In other words, it's decided by the buyers and sellers. Where supply meets demand, there's a market. But what else can drive the value of a financial asset? As we've discussed earlier, there can be fundamental factors, such as the state of the economy. In addition, there can be technical factors like the market capitalization of a cryptocurrency. Also, there may be other factors to consider, such as market sentiment or recent news. However, these are just that, factors to consider. What really determines the price of an asset in a given moment is simply the balance of supply and demand. What is a market trend? A market trend is the overall direction where the price of an asset is going. In technical analysis, market trends are typically identified using price action, trend lines, or even key moving averages. Generally, there are two main types of market trends, bull and bear market. A bull market consists of a sustained uptrend, where prices are continually going up. A bear market consists of a sustained downtrend, where prices are continually going down. In addition, we can also identify consolidating, or sideways markets, where there isn't a clear directional trend. It's worth noting that a market trend doesn't mean that the price is always going in the direction of the trend. A prolonged bull market will have smaller bear trends contained with it, and vice versa. This is simply just the nature of market trends. It's a matter of perspective as it all depends on the time frame you are looking at. Market trends on higher time frames will always have more significance than market trends on lower time frames. A peculiar thing about market trends is that they can only be determined with absolute certainty in hindsight. You may have heard about the concept of hindsight bias, which refers to the tendency of people to convince themselves that they accurately predicted an event before it happened. What is a market cycle? You may have heard the phrase that the market moves in cycles. A cycle is a pattern or trend that emerges at different times. Typically, market cycles on higher time frames are more reliable than market cycles on lower time frames. Even so, you can eventually find small market cycles on an hourly chart just as you may do when looking at decades of data. Markets are cyclical in nature. Cycles can result in certain asset classes outperforming others. In other segments of the same market cycle, those same asset classes may underperform other types of assets due to the different market conditions. It's worth noting that it's almost impossible to determine in any given moment where we currently are in a market cycle. This analysis can be done with high accuracy only after that part of the cycle has concluded. Market cycles also rarely have concrete beginning and end points. As part of Chapter 1 Learning, we discussed What is trading? What is investing? Trading versus investing, what's the difference? What is fundamental analysis, F.A.? What is technical analysis, TA? Fundamental analysis versus technical analysis, which is better? What drives the financial markets? What is a market trend? What is a market cycle? In our next video, which is chapter two, we will discuss about financial markets and trading instruments. What is a financial instrument? What is the spot market? What is margin trading? What is the derivatives market? What are forward and futures contracts? What are perpetual futures contracts? What are options contracts? What is the foreign exchange, forex, market? What are leveraged tokens?